I'm Ross Perry and I'm here with Jan and we're here with a dear little friend um, who we have seen before, haven't we, mm -hmm. a little while back. Mm -hmm. How many months was that? About three. About three months ago. Mm -hmm. This little birdie had a chain around its leg, am I picking That's correctly? Right. Yep. And had been um, kept in a pretty miserable state for a Pretty much, time. yeah. Yep. And uh, my baby, what's your name? George. George. Hello, Georgie. Hello, George. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Nice chat. Oh, you want to kick it under the wing? You want to kick it under the wing? Just a cheek or something. The changes of the powder downs under the wing are quite typical of beacon feather. Uh, so beacon feather it sees these changes here just, just quietly. The feathers are all dystrophic. And the lack of powder on his beak is consistent with beacon feather. Um, just gently. Just gently. Just gently, George. George. Georgie, George. Just quietly. There we are. There we are. He did have all his tail feathers before. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. You've got a loud voice. You have. George. You've got a loud voice. George. Right. Um, just looking at the inside of his beak, you've got some changes occurring on the inside of his beak down near the, uh, the brownish area, but it's not up high. But you have got early rot on the inside of the beak there. Right. He did lose, he, he's lost about that much off the tip of the top of the beak yes. just recently. Yep. 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 And then he similarly lost a chunk out of right. the bottom beak right. and then the two side parts snapped off after yep. that. Yep. So I would be um, giving him some, um, trying some bee relieved <coughs> essential oil on there or the stinky paint. On the beak. On the inside of the beak, yep. Um, you know, without this, um, doing all, that, all the quantum work, um, um, what we can do is just try and keep him comfortable for as long as possible, yeah. right? So just quietly. Good baby. Good baby. Shh, 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 shh. We're here to help you, matey. We're here to help you. Okay, his feet are in good, good order. Georgie. His muscle mass is good. He's not Georgie. underweight. And if anything, he's a bit plump on the on the tummy, but he's not. Uh, and his liver does not feel enlarged. And the changes on his plumage are just quite typical. Okay, I'm just going to pass him over, and we'll just unwind him slowly. That's quite. There George, you are. don't bite anybody. No, he's all right. Hey, hey, he's hey. all right. He's all right. He's just gentle. Thanks. He just wants to be with you. What's the matter? You're the one he trusts. Oh, good, it's me. Just calm. Just calm. That was a bit of a performance, Just wasn't calm. it? Right? Just that calm. That was a bit of a performance. Just calm. It was. Uh -oh, Just calm. That's me. Just calm. That's me. Just calm. Just calm. Okay. Um... So just reviewing what you can do and, and, and what we can do at this stage for him. Um, there's obviously an inflammation going on on the underside of his upper beak. Um, and it's starting to be eroded. It's not raw or anything yet, but there is enough changes to say that you're going to get a problem or he's going to get a problem there. Um, so we need to file that bottom beak um, and keep, stop it from growing any longer than it is. Just keep it at that length or a little bit shorter. Uh, you could probably take, I'd say, two or three millimetres off that lower beak. Okay. If, if you can, if you, if you can get his cooperation and just use a, a file, either a metal one or a sandpaper one. Okay. Right, nail file. Like a nail file. 